Hey, Davion, I, I know you don't like uh, to lose, but how does it feel to get, you know, three games in a row where I think some better cohesion with the team and stuff like that? Um, I think we're doing good <clears throat> and consistent and playing good defense and uh, having great energy. So uh, I know it's not going in our favor, but we're doing pretty good. We, we improve it every time and we're doing everything we need to do, but uh, we need to finish um, on the, 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 the small mistakes that we have and we're going to do good. So we're still trying. It's not, we, it's not like we're trying to lose. We're trying to win. So we're doing good things right now. So we just need to be consistent and keep doing better. For sure. Antonio and coach both said that some uh, tough practices, two, two practices prior to this game uh, occurred. So do you think if, if you had better practices those games, maybe it would have been a different outcome today? Uh, you talking about individually or, individually or a team? I mean, as a team, they made it sound like just, you know, some low energy practices. Coach said that you guys really haven't had practices like that the whole year uh, where yeah. guys just didn't seem to have a lot of energy. Oh uh, yeah, it was it was just uh, the last two practices. Um, I think we just kind of fell off with being consistent. <clears throat> um, once we start learning how to be consistent and just learning that that's going to help us get better, it's going to help us a lot. So um, I don't know. There's no reason that our energy was just off in the two last days, but we're gonna pick it up uh, after this off day tomorrow and. We're going to do good in practice, so we're going to be straight. Uh, for, how excited are you to, you know, get back out there against and play Kansas, the Jayhawks? Because, you know, they put it on you last time in Lawrence, but here's your chance to to try to show you that you can be competitive with them in, in Manhattan. Playing Kansas again, we're going, we're going to try our hardest. Uh, I think it's going to be a different outcome the last game that we played them, and uh, we're going to come out way harder than we did. Uh, obviously, we had that uh, – we start doing a slap on the floor against uh, Texas A&M. And then two games after that, it's been like great energy. So three great games so far. Uh, and we're going to keep that same energy and keep going on. And we're going to do it against Kansas. Uh, we're just going to try our hardest. I mean, I believe in my team. And I'm pretty sure my team believe in all of us as well. So <clears throat> it's gonna, I think it's going to be a different outcome. I think it's, I think it's going to be a better game instead of what it was last game. Appreciate it, Davion. Safe travels. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Davion, you guys had a lot of trouble finishing around the basket on layups, especially in the first half. What just made that so difficult today? Was it you guys just missing, or were they doing something on defense? Um, I just think we wasn't finishing, honestly. Um, there was a couple of times that I got in the ball in the paint, and they it was, it was a couple of times it was double teams, and I wasn't noticing them. Um, and that's my part of my hand. I dribble with my head down, so I can't look around. But um, even around with anybody else, I mean, I just think that we, we, we just wasn't finishing. And uh, going through their chest and just being strong, uh, we're going to pick that up also in practice. And, uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your handle, too. The, uh, the TV commentators seemed impressed that you were able to put the ball on the floor and finish two plays uh, for dunks and layups. Do you have a little bit more ball handling, handling ability than people think? Uh, I mean, I try to joke around with it around practice. I mean, I'll be um, around my teammates and my coaches I, of how I want to be a big guard, but that's not going to happen. But, I mean, you, I mean, you never know. But I was just joking. Um, but on the court today when I was when I was dribbling, I mean, I just saw what was open uh, on the fast break. Uh, I, I stopped the half court running back on defense, and I saw that I just stole the ball. So he passed it up. I dribbled and finished around the rim. Um, even when I caught it mid post, I just saw it open like it was just a gap open, and I just dribbled inside, and obviously it wasn't uh, like no defense there. So I don't know. Uh, I mean, it, it could be better, but I think it, I just was just playing basketball, and it just happened. It came to me. Okay, and uh, last one. What's Antonio doing so good right now? Um, he had a heck of a heck of a game today. Uh, I mean, he just have a great energy. Like, it's amazing of how uh, he turned on that switch and, like, he's just been so motivated, like, motivational and, like, he's been just playing really hard. And I think it's sharing off with the team and it's helping us a lot. So, I mean, I'm very, very proud of him, the way he's playing and his performance. He's rebounding very good, finishing very good, doing plays, you know, and just doing everything the coaches need him to do and what the team need him to do. So, I mean, I'm very proud of Antonio. Uh, and I think 
his energy gonna feed like it feeds off us and it helps us. So it helps us a lot for having a person that plays hard for our team. Okay, uh, one last question of Michael Goins. Yeah, Davion, are you guys able to kind of switch up between the different defensive looks that you get? Um, man to man in zone that Oklahoma State was throwing at you. You said, do we need to switch it up? Are you, are, are you able to handle uh, the defensive, different defensive looks that you're getting um, from man to man to zone? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it just some things that we just need to uh, take care of, like individually, uh, uh, like the one on ones or like the ISOs that we need to guard harder. Um, obviously, I, I mean, I, it was a couple of times that it was ISO on me and I'm not that good at guarding people that, that can dribble the ball and put the ball on the floor, but it's going to get better. Um, but for anybody else, I think it just they we we just need to get harder and, like, it just need to get better. Did they throw anything at you defensively that you uh, weren't able to handle in the first half? Um, No, it was just, like I said, it, it just wasn't – we just wasn't finishing very well. Um, all right. I mean, we was executing a little bit, but we just couldn't finish. So I just think that was the problem. I think the first uh, half we went zero for eight for threes and eight for 20, 25 or 30 or something. So I just think that we just need to get, uh, get some great shots up and get better shots. Was it just as simple as making shots in the first five minutes of the second half? I mean, it was defense and making shots. We did, we did, we couldn't make shots, and it was also a little bit of their defense.